this is Gwen from Everything Gwenny, and today we have a weird and random Wednesday. Um, it is diamond painting related, but uh, it's not a diamond painting unboxing, so we'll call it weird and random, shall we? Sorry if I just shook the camera. So let me go ahead and get this. This is something I ordered from a group on Facebook. I believe it's called Handmade Diamond Painting Pens. Um, I'll definitely put the link below. Uh, it's a group that does, obviously by the name you can tell, uh, they do diamond painting pens from handmade, um, they do them on a, so it's a husband and wife team, <laughs> let me get in there, and uh, it's Carol and Sean I believe is the husband, and they take acrylic blanks and use a lathe to turn them into diamond painting pens, but they also do regular pens, crochet books, all sorts of things. So what you do is you go to their group and you ask to be put on the wait list because that's how they uh, they do the orders. They put your name on a wait list and then they give you a number. And then when your number is called, you pick the blank that you want and what exactly you want made. So if you want a diamond painting pen or if you want um, a normal pen, if you want the crochet hooks, they have stylus, um, they have everything that you can think of really. I'm trying to open this very carefully. And uh, I, I, I think I might want to get the crochet hooks at some point too in the near future. Well, maybe not near future. Not working. Means no extra spending cash very much. Now I put my wait, name on the wait list a while ago. It actually didn't take too long to go through it. Um, and since I'm Canadian, they have a thing where if you're U.S., I believe you can order one pen and shipping's included. And if you're international, you pay international shipping and you're allowed to get up to two items. So I ordered two pens. Uh, let me just, there we go. Ooh. Oh, and so here's a little thank you tag. Thank you. Yeah, it is Sean and Carol. Ooh, there we go. I'm really bad at centering this. Isn't that cute? Alright, so let's take a look. I got two different ones. But I think they were, oh wow. So again, they look, uh, if you watched my snail mail Sunday, they look heavy like marble. But they're actually, because they're acrylic blanks, they're very, very light. Um, like light but a good weight for diamond painting so this is a three bump i believe so you can see it's a one it's really hard to tell but there's one bump here one in the middle and then one on the end and so it dips down because i wanted to try um how different ones felt so this is a three bump and i also got a four bump so see this one here has the fat part sitting in the cushiony part of my hand whereas i think the other one will be more like have the the dip part so I wanted to see which one I liked better so I can't even remember what the colors were that I ordered but this is gorgeous and I got the single placer at both ends because I don't really like multi placers isn't that cool I really love this okay it's just gonna keep rolling 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 there we go <laughs> and this one is my four bump and I got it to match the colors of my channel obviously and all the nice swoops this was like a I think a dark blue and light blue swirl and as you can see it has one two three four bumps so when I'm holding this one see the the more um, dippy side of it sits in my hand um, and the fat part kind of rests at the top of the so I wanted to try do two different ones to see which one I like the best. So it's hard to tell. And I got them fatter. Um, like I said, Sharpie, but slightly fatter. So you can see this one's pretty fat. But once you get the dips and the bumps in it, it obviously takes down some of the size. But they're gorgeous, aren't they? I definitely recommend them. Um, I believe they said that the tips are interchangeable. Let me just see. Maybe the single ones aren't. Maybe only if you get the other ones. 
Um, I could be wrong. I don't want to pull too hard because I don't want to risk breaking it, obviously. I mean, I'm not going to care too much because I'm only going to use the single placers anyways. So now I've got these two and I've got the third one that I got from another company. Um, maybe Sarah has chipped in where she got it from uh, on the uh, uh, snail mail Sunday post that I did. But these are gorgeous and they're a great length. They're longer than the regular pens. But actually, let me just see here. I have a regular pen here. So this is a regular pen that Sarah beaded for me and then put a tip on. So you can see the length difference from that. As the pen rolls away. So yeah, that's the difference in pen length there. Oh, so I'm gonna, I'm really gonna like these. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for me and my pen ordering uh, spree that I've been on. I've done a couple different pens and now I have so many, I don't think uh, I'm gonna need any for a while. Unless anybody out there can highly recommend a, another good diamond painting pen that I should try, I will definitely look into it. But yeah, that's it guys. This is my uh, unboxing, un bagging of the handmade diamond painting pens that you find on Facebook. Again, the link will be below. You go and then if you look in the information section, the about section, I believe it is, they will have a post where you can request to be put on the wait list. They assign you a number and when your number comes up, you get to pick what you like. Um, and the prices are different. I think it's, tw don't call me, I think it's 20 US um, and that includes shipping uh, for the US people and then I don't remember what the prices were for international and then it's plus the shipping um, I think mine were 40 or 50 dollars altogether for everything I can't even remember it was a while ago so I hope you guys like this video if you did please give me a thumbs up please feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and I will see you guys in the next one have a great day